just uh, try this experiment you when you become next pregnant or your somebody friend becomes pregnant after some time you name the child you name the child something and call the child every day and after a few months you just simply call the child it moves in the tummy mm, i believe that most of our diseases such as cancer and stuff is caused by some kind of stress emotional mental but that doesn't help explain why four year olds get blood cancer and things like that how do children what a get beautiful cancer? question this girl is very good i like that girl <laughs> amma have you have you got into a four year old child's uh, mind i've tried to a lot yeah you have not been you will see a two year old child when you get the next child coming out it hates that child so much that it wishes the child can be killed they have tried to kill that they are also in the same world ma they have also got emotions which you and i don't understand they are also same zygote as you and i are and they also can think so you don't know what the what happens you know a lot of people ask why did ramana maharshi die at a young age why did shankara die at an young age how do you know they had a tranquil mind they were good people you know you know for example you think i am a good man i may be a rascal inside you don't know you don't know really so a child also has emotions so child can a four year old child can have cancer nothing wrong in it you will be surprised to know that your child learns in your own womb did you know that yes yeah, if you and your husband fight when you are having the child inside that child becomes a fighter when it comes out it can learn for you know nine years for for five years in the house surroundings kurukshetra so, kurukshetra see how that uh, chakra viha coming out and going in etc today people are teaching mathematics to children in the womb yeah you can do that you just try this experiment you when you become next pregnant or your somebody friend becomes pregnant after some time you name the child you name the child something and call the child every day and after a few months you just simply call the child it moves in the tummy <laughs> professor i've tried that my i have a 12 year old son who loves mathematics and i remember when my friends used to ask me when i was pregnant if i have any kind of urges to eat you know we have specific urges to eat and i had none but i used to want to do solve integral calculus you know enjoy doing that and my son loves mathematics good girl good girl indians are good at calculus after ramanujam <laughs> you know you will be surprised a professor of cardiovascular surgery in stanford such a big man his name was david eddy d a v i d e d d d y eddy at the age of 52 when he was ab about to become the head of the department of cardiac surgery because his boss norman shumway was retiring he said why am i doing bypass surgery it's unscientific there's no scientific basis i'm using linear mathematics or non linear organ he resigned his job can you believe that 52 stanford professor of cardiovascular surgery resigning his job and he joins stanford university for phd in mathematics Three years later, he gets the PhD in mathematics with the Henley Gold Medal, and a citation says, "David was the best brain in calculus that Stanford had in 350 years." And David goes on to change the physiology of man, and he has got a new physiology now called www.archimedesmodel.com. Go to the library, put it there. You get a, and then put your problems there. You get a solution there, and you will find whatever drug you give there, it says is horrible. Don't take that drug. and david is now professor of medical management in stanford university he doesn't do bypass surgery so good thank you